Tech Tech has come out with an all new line of premium wooden fingerboards, the Tech Tech Pro Series. And in this video, I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison to the previous Performance Series and go over all the main differences. Looking at the front of the box, it's hard to distinguish any real differences. And flipping it over on the side is where we start to see some of the differences. On the Pro, it shows some of the features, the bearing wheels, trucks, foam grip, and wooden board. And on the back here, it also shows some of the additional graphics that are in each series. And on the back of the box, it looks like there will be four graphics available, the Plan B, Revive, Primitive, and Zero. The Plan B is the only one that is out at the time of making this. However, the others will most likely come out in the near future. The current lineup of Tech Tech Performance Series has six different graphics. These were released around the middle of 2022. One thing that I thought was pretty cool on the Tech Tech Performance Series is on the package, you can actually pop the front of it open and get a look at the actual product as well as on the left, there's some additional features. And it kind of breaks down all the different parts. The one thing I will point out is that the trucks on this picture do look to be a little bit different than the ones that are on the actual board. The ones that are on the board, I will show in a little bit, are pretty much identical to the 399 or the cheaper fingerboards. One of the most drastic difference between the two is going to be the price. The Tech Tech Pro Series is currently going for $69.99, and I was able to pick up the Tech Tech Performance Series for $14.99. And at that price, you could pretty much get four Tech Tech Performance Series for the same price of one Tech Tech Pro Series. This blind board comes in a plastic tube, and that is just because it is part of a previous line of Performance Series. They used to come in plastic tubes, but now come in boxes. I'm going to be doing the comparison with this board. And to start off, it has foam grip with the Tech Tech logo on it. The deck on the Performance Series is a 32 millimeter wide board, five ply wooden deck. Pretty mellow as far as concavity goes, and it doesn't have the traditional skateboard shape in the fact that it is more of a perfect symmetrical kind of popsicle shape rather than having a nose and tail. And the trucks themselves are just standard Tech Tech trucks, leaving a little bit to be desired as far as it goes if you like looser or a little bit softer bushings. The wheels are upgraded from the standard Tech Tech to a soft durometer, super grippy wheel. They do not have bearings and they don't really free spin very well, but overall work okay and they are super grippy. Opening up the Pro Series box, the first thing you'll see is the wooden storage and display case that can also be used and if you take the board out and then put it all back together and flip it over, also as a platform ledge that has dual grind rails on it. Also with the Pro Series, you get a high quality metal tool. The T-shape gives a lot of leverage for getting in those tricky screws that don't want to go in and it also has a built-in file for doing foam grip jobs. The Performance Series on the other hand does not come with a tool of any kind. And I really like the design of the display box. And once everything is put back together and flipped over, it can be used as a platform with the dual aluminum ledge. Looking at the two setups side by side, the Tech Deck Pro Series is noticeably bigger than the Performance Series. And that is due to the fact that the deck itself is a 34 millimeter versus the 32 millimeter on the Tech Deck Performance Series. And looking at the two boards flat on their wheels, the Tech Deck Pro Series definitely sits up a bit higher. And this is due to the fact that the foam grip is actually a two millimeter foam grip versus the one millimeter on the Tech Tech Performance Series, as well as the wheels being a larger diameter, making it so the board just rides a little bit higher as well. The overall shape of the Tech Tech Performance Series is pretty mellow compared to the Pro Series that has a little bit steeper kicks as well as a little bit more concavity. Because of this, the Performance Series is a little bit more challenging to do tricks on. And for somebody that has less experience, even harder to do pop tricks or flip tricks. And just as comparison, this is a standard tech deck. You can see it has a little bit higher kicks as well as the concavity that they used. They end up using this angled concavity, which is a little bit weird, but it does work a little bit better than the Performance Series for more beginner fingerboarders. The Performance Series uses the same trucks as the $3 board, and these do not come with lock nuts, so they do get loose over time. And if you don't tighten them up, they do risk falling off. And looking at the side of these one more time, looking at all three, I would definitely say the standard tech deck and the pro tech deck are going to have the higher, more steep kicks as well as a little bit more concavity. And I think this is better for more of a beginner as well as somebody who likes that kind of higher pop, not as I guess crisp as pops as the performance series, just because it's a little bit lower and it kind of forces you to pop at a lower angle. Looking at the side profile of the trucks, both of the trucks are very similar in shape. However, the base plates are a little bit lower profile on the pro series. The Pro Series comes with a soft pivot cup where the Performance Series does not. And then on the Pro Series, they went with an inverted kingpin versus the standard kingpin nut on the Performance Series. And this just helps when grinding. It doesn't get in the way or hit on the obstacle and it makes it a lot smoother. 
The Pro Series also comes with a lot higher quality bushings. They are a lot more responsive and softer and they don't have an extra washer on the bottom like the Performance Series does. And one of the biggest differences is going to be on the wheels is the fact that they used actual bearings and they actually went with a dual core wheel. So it is a harder plastic on the inside core and then on the outside, a softer white rubber. The bearings give the wheels a nice look, but also make it so they can free spin a lot nicer and also gives the board a kind of cool sound to it, just having actual bearings inside of it. The performance board has a really similar feel to the classic Tech Deck and the fact that it doesn't have bearings and it's a little bit rougher when going over surfaces. And the bearing wheel definitely smooths everything out. That being said, out of all three wheels, the Pro Series is definitely the stickiest and followed by the Performance Series. But the amount of stickiness on the Pro Series is actually just crazy. I've never used anything that is as sticky. It's maybe a little bit too sticky for uh, most people's preferences. In my opinion, it is definitely something that takes a while to get used to, but it does have some benefits in the fact that you can get a little bit more control with some of the tricks just because the wheels stick to the ground so much. The Performance Series has a good amount of grip as well. These are probably the most grippiest wheels I've used prior to using the Pro Series. And then the plastic wheels that come on the Classic Tech Deck really slide around. Out of the three, these have the least amount of grip and perform pretty similar to European wheels in the fact that they can just spin on the ground. On the other side, the wheels that come on the Pro Series, it is actually really hard to spin the wheels on the ground. It takes a good amount of effort just to do a 180. The Performance Series wheels are very grippy. Not as grippy as the Pro Series, but since they don't have bearing wheels, it takes more effort to spin the board around. This is what the different wheel materials sound like when sliding it on the wood. These urethane wheels are my personal favorites because they're kind of like a happy medium between getting a good amount of grip and not being too sticky. The foam grip on the Pro Series is probably the grippiest foam I've ever used. And it also is laser kind of etched, so it has this cool design in there. It says the Tech Deck logo and Pro. On the other side, the Tech Deck Performance Series is more of a spongy, not as grippy foam grip. And the Tech Deck logo, since it's just painted or stamped on, seems to wear off pretty quick. Out of all three, the Pro Series definitely has the most amount of pop. I think this is due to the fact of the board shape, but also the fact that the foam is super grippy and allows the fingers to kind of almost stick to the board. That being said, I'm able to do all of the same tricks pretty much on all three boards, but I have found it is a little bit easier to do some tricks on the Pro Series, just the fact that it is a standard shaped board. So it does actually have a little bit longer nose, is a little bit higher, and then the tail is gonna be a little bit shorter and lower. I found that doing nollie tricks on the Pro with a longer nose and a different shape is a lot more consistent than on the standard Tech Deck or the performance board. To wrap everything up, overall, I think three boards perform pretty similar. However, they definitely have their differences in feels and some of the pros and cons as far as their performance goes. And that being said, at each price point, I think they all make a great option. One thing that I really like about Tech Deck is that they have a fingerboard option for pretty much everyone on any budget. And even for $3, you can get a pretty solid board and upgrade the parts if you want to down the line. I've done a few upgrades on even the Tech Deck Performance Series on the channel prior. If you want to check those out, upgrading the wheels as well as the trucks and the grip jobs and changing up the board shape as well. And I also just did a full unboxing as well as initial review of the Pro Series if you would like more information on that and see if it is worth it for you. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any other questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you did enjoy it, make sure to hit the like button as well as subscribe and turn on post notifications for when I post my newest videos. And until next time, peace.